she's a little bright. Just nowhere in the world would this work for me. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for this video because we're talking concealer. We are talking a new reformulation-ish. Actually, I don't even think reformulation, just an entirely new concealer, replacing my favorite concealer of all time. My favorite concealer of all time was the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. And then they said, sorry, no, you can't have her anymore. And they came out with a new concealer and I've been trying and testing it out and I definitely have some thoughts. I'm gonna remove what's under my eyes and we're gonna be doing a full try on and I'm gonna be talking you through kind of my thoughts of the new concealer. I know a lot of you loved the Power Play concealer. It was just unmatched in the best ways. So I just kind of wanna jump into this video and get started. I would love to know down below if you've tried it, what your thoughts are. And if you have a good alternative to the old Power Play concealer that isn't necessarily this concealer, let me know down below because I love to try new concealers, test out new formulas. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. If you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this new Cover FX Concealer video. Okay, brought you in closer and removed my concealer under my eyes, added a little bit of eye cream and let it soak in. Now let's kind of get into the video. So first things first. She was so amazing. So I have still my old Power Play concealer. I loved this concealer. It was so incredible, so good. I know so many of you also loved it. I had the shade MN2 or Neutral Medium 2, and this was just such a perfect shade. This is one that like truly for me was Holy Grail, wore it on my wedding day, which I feel like wedding day or like long event days, when you wear something on that day, you know it's like a, a holy grail. It's just so good. This was one of those products. So again, I got the shade MN2. I actually DM'd the Cover FX team on Instagram and I was like, okay, what shade should I get if I was MN2 in your old Power Play concealer? And they gave me shades, suggestion, suggestions, suggestions, if I don't get it together. So this was the old concealer shade and she was really good. This is old at this point and like kind of a mess. I kept it even though it was on its last legs because I knew I wanted to be able to compare the new concealer that they were gonna come out with with this because I figured there was gonna be another concealer coming out. So this is the shade MN2. It's a really good shade match for me and it has the perfect blend of like, it's neutral but it has a touch of peach so that it kind of really got rid of the the blue that i felt like i had under my eyes or i feel like i have in the darkness that i have under my eyes it really helped kind of balance it out and made it look really just flawless and seamless and perfect now let's move on to talk about the new concealer so this is the new cover fx concealer and i believe it's the skin discover skin discovered long wear concealer um i did dm the cover fx team on instagram and asked if they had a recommendation i was the shade mn2 in your power play what would you recommend for me now and i have to be honest the shade's a little light so they recommended um m2 which is this shade here she's a little bright just nowhere in the world would this work for me but we're going to try it on and kind of make it work. And then I also got M3 just because I wanted to see the two. They're definitely both a little light for me. Um, and just, okay, this is not focusing. Stop focusing on my face and focus on. So yeah, you can see one is more yellow, one is more pink, and we're gonna swatch these. So this is M2. This is the one that they recommended to me for if I was MN2 in the power play. And you can just see right away that they're wildly different shades. So I don't recommend this shade if you are my complexion because it, it is just a little bit bright and a little too white out -y looking on my complexion. Um, so that is M2 and then this is MN2 from Cover FX, the, their power play. And then we have M3 and this one 
is a little too yellow and just overall not great but I do find mixing them together a little bit works slightly better for me under my eyes so that's what we're going to do today I'm going to take a little bit of m3 and m2 and we're going to mix them together to kind of try and get a little bit more of a balanced shade because I do find that m2 is a little bit too pink and m3 is definitely way too yellow and we're going to actually blend them out with a beauty sponge because with the original cover fx formula i loved blending with the beauty sponge so we're going to do half the face with a beauty sponge half the face with a um brush just so you can see so we're going to apply a little bit that's all we're going to apply i'm not going to do this side just yet what I do like to do is let this concealer sit just a touch. Um, in my opinion, it just kind of works a little bit better if you let it sit just a touch. I'm not saying like a whole minute. I'm saying, let's say a rough 30 seconds, let it sit. So we're gonna let it sit for a little bit and come back. All right, we let it sit. Now we're gonna blend it out. And I just wanna show you, this is what the two shades blended together look like. And I put an equal amount. It's 50-50 of both shades compared to the yellow and the pink that I feel like just alone is not great. So we're gonna blend with a sponge. So this is it blended out. What do you guys think? Um, I would say that coverage wise, in my opinion, it is not as full coverage as the PowerPlay concealer. It does, it's the, the feeling of the formula is almost very similar in my opinion however the finish of it and just in terms of coverage is not the same but this is what it looks like with a sponge and when they're the two colors are mixed together it's a an okay shade on me i still feel like it's a little bit bright especially in person however you can easily remedy that with powder because sometimes powder just does its thing and makes everything look a little bit better. But what do you guys think with the sponge? Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Now I'm not gonna let this sit. I'm gonna blend it out right away because it's already been sitting on the back of my hand. So we're going to blend her out and I'm blending her out with, this is the um, Hourglass Concealer Brush. So now you can see the brush side compared to the sponge side. And the sponge definitely melts the shade into my skin a little bit better. The brush side, I just prefer this formula. Even if it was the right color, I prefer this formula with a sponge. Now, if we get close to a mirror, there is no creasing or anything like that, which is really nice. I didn't have that with the old PowerPlay concealer either. What I will say is coverage is different. I feel like on this side specifically because it is a little bit brighter. So I feel like you can kind of see, I have a little bit of volume loss on my under eyes, so rude, fix yourself. But I have a little bit of volume loss and it is more apparent on the side, in my opinion, that I use the brush on. Whereas this side, you can still see volume loss and you can still see the, um, darkness peeking through however it is a little bit more flawless on the side with a sponge in terms of coverage i don't think it's as good of coverage as the original power play concealer power original power play concealer to me was more full coverage and this one to me is more medium medium plus coverage you still have coverage it still gets rid of darkness right like it still looks bright however i do feel like the old power play concealer was just a little bit better in terms of coverage for what i wanted the concealer for or what i wanted the power play concealer for was to be my full coverage concealer this it still works it still does a good job it still doesn't crease under my eyes as you can see there is no creasing as it sits and it's really nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it with powder now that it's been a little bit, so you can kind of see how it sits with powder. We're gonna do the Amicole setting powder. And what's nice about this new Cover FX concealer is 
I don't find that it settles into fine lines. Now there are some concealers that settle into fine lines immediately and it's disrespectful and how dare you? This one doesn't do that. So I don't feel like I have to go through before I powder it and like get rid of the lines under my eyes, if that makes sense, or the creasing under my eyes. I'm just gonna take this and set it with just a little bit of powder. I don't like too much powder. Now that they're set with powder, you can still see that the side with the brush is a little bit brighter um, and just more apparent that there is something under my eyes just for the shades, not for the product. Now let's kind of get into the way that it looks. So it does look very skin-like. To me, it doesn't necessarily look really apparent on the skin. It blends really, really nicely. It looks really nice um, in terms of a formula and it just, I don't know, it just looks very nice under the eyes. Again, just make sure you get the right shade because if not, you're looking like Casper the ghost under your eyes, but I do like the way that it looks under the eyes. In terms of coverage, I do want it to have a little bit more coverage just because for PowerPlay concealer I had so much coverage and that, but also looked so skin-like on the under eyes that it was just one of, a formula that to me, I like felt like was lacking in the market because in terms of, and that's across the board, in terms of full coverage concealers that don't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup under your eyes and really just melt into the skin and look skin-like and have a natural finish, that to me stood on its own because that's really, really hard to find. Now, I still really like this concealer. It still looks really beautiful. I do prefer the original formula, but it is what it is. You hate to see it. I feel like anytime you have a favorite, when brands come out with new ones, you're like, but the old one was good, how dare you? So I still prefer the old formula. However, this is still a nice formula. It still looks really natural under the eyes. It doesn't look apparent. It doesn't look like you have a ton of makeup under the eyes. So in terms of comparing it to the PowerPlay concealer, it is similar in that aspect. Um, I do think the shade range needs so much work. The old PowerPlay concealer had so many shade options and was so versatile in the sense that so many people, it was so, so many different complexions, undertones could find something that works for them. With this shade range, I feel like it's a little bit disappointing because Cover FX was one of the original brands that came out with a super inclusive range and now it's less inclusive, which is disappointing in my opinion. You hate to see it. You hate to see backtracking on inclusivity, but that's okay. Hopefully they come out with more shades because I definitely feel like in terms of undertones and all of that, there needs to kind of be a little bit more done. I also feel like mid-tones are just, I feel like there could be some zhuzhing. Whoever did their old shade range needs to come back and they need to do that again because their old shade range was incredible. And they were one of the original brands come out with just the best range in my opinion. Now I do, again, I do enjoy this concealer. I don't enjoy it as much as the old one. However, it does do what you want it to do. And it's not apparent on the skin. It's not as full coverage, but I feel like most people don't actually love full coverage concealers. So if you like a medium coverage concealer and you can find a shade that works for you, I feel like you'll really enjoy this formula. It is not drying. It isn't shiny under the eyes, which is nice, especially for like what I really like a more full coverage, medium plus coverage concealer to be for, which is for like events and stuff like that. It isn't like, super dewy, it's not slipping off your face, and it just really looks skin-like in finish and in the way that it sits on the face. I don't find that it gets pilly or anything like that. It melts really beautifully into the skin. Again, I do prefer the formula, even if it wasn't because of the shade. I do prefer the formula with a sponge over a brush on my fingers. That's just my personal preference. Now I wanna talk about the new formula compared to other formulas I love really quickly. So we're gonna just do these two concealers here. We have the Cool Fee and we also have the Iris and Romeo. The Cool Fee concealer is a beautiful concealer. I'm gonna do, so these two right here, 
right here, these two swatches are the um, new ones. And I'm gonna just swatch this concealer close by it so that you can kind of see the difference on how they're just really, really light for me. I wanna make sure that you can see that. So the Coolfee Concealer has, in my opinion, a little less coverage than the new um, Cover FX Concealer. To me, the Coolfee is a little bit more medium, depending on how much I apply medium plus, but I would say like a strong medium coverage concealer that you can kind of build up a little bit, but you definitely can't get it to full coverage. It has a little bit more of a sheen under the eyes, which I do enjoy. I prefer either a natural finish or something with a little bit of dew, but not, I don't want to look wet under my eyes, but I do love a little bit of, um, just sheen under the eyes because I do like a more dewy finish on my cheeks. So it just, that way it blends really nicely. Cause if I went with something more matte, it would just be really apparent the finish differences, but this is great. I wear the shade Mango Drop in this and that is Mango Drop right here. And then these are M2 and M3. So very different shades. I do really enjoy the Coolfee Concealer. I mean, I talk about this all the time. It is my most grabbed at the moment, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned this, but this is great. Um, they're definitely different, but I do find the Coolfee Concealer really hydrating under the eyes. I find the Cover FX Concealer hydrating as well, um, but not as hydrating. I would say that this is slightly less hydrating. I also would say that the original Power Play concealer was slightly less hydrating than the Coolfee one. So in terms of hydration wise, it doesn't dry, the new formula doesn't dry out my under eyes. Now let's talk about the Iris and Romeo concealer. This is the shade here. Oh my gosh, I need to get a new one because this is crazy. This is the shade seven. This is the shade seven. Oh, I'm touching it. <laughs> and this is the um, Mango Drop from Coolfee, and this is the original Power Play Concealer. I hope you can see. I feel like my camera is all over the place today and is not doing what I want her to. Anyways, I find that in comparison to the Iris and Romeo Concealer, I would say Iris and Romeo is, in terms of creasing, the most crease proof concealer I've ever tried. I feel like the cover effects is like sl slightly behind it in terms of proofness, but still, at least on my under eyes, which are creasy, I don't really get much creasing. I would say that the um, Iris and Romeo concealer is like a true medium plus kind of coverage concealer, maybe medium, medium plus, depending on how much you apply. But I also feel like under the eyes, for whatever reason, the Iris and Romeo concealer for the kind of lack of volume that I'm kind of having right now, which so rude, it does do a little bit of a better job hiding it. But again, I do think that the shade that I'm wearing under my eyes is a big part of that. So keep that in mind. But I do feel like the Iris and Romeo concealer just does a little bit better of a job concealing that for me. Um, even when I go with super light colors, so I'm gonna gra show you this super light color. I think this is shade six. Yes, shade six. Even with this super light shade for my under eyes, it still does, in my opinion, a better job. I always love the shade five because I have a, a problem and I can't stop buying it. So this is the shade six here. Then this is the shade seven. And then this is the, sh the mango drop in Cool Fee. Even the super bright shade, which I would say is kind of comparable in brightness to the shade um, MN2, not MN2, M2. It still does a little bit of a better job concealing the hollow hollowness in my under eyes, which is just getting older is the worst. But anyways, so um, yeah, I feel like the formula does a little bit of a better job, but I do actually really enjoy the new formula, just not as much as the old one, but that's to be expected because the old one was my true holy grail favorite concealer. And I hope one day they bring it back. Pray with me that they bring it back, send good vibes into the universe because we need it, we need it back. But I do really enjoy it and I would love to know down below if you've tried the new Cover of X concealer, what are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, do you feel like it, if you use the old formula, do you feel like it kind of fills that void? Do you like the shade range? I would love to know down below. So like 
give me a little discussion time down below so I can know what you guys are kind of thinking about the new formula and all of that and the new shade range. And yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for this new Cover FX concealer video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.